Hey everybody, welcome back to Plugin Tut, your home for handcrafted WordPress plugin tutorials. And as always, I'm your host, Matt. And in today's lesson, we're going to talk about migrating SEO data, uh, page title, meta description, that kind of thing, from one WordPress site to another. And specifically, when you're switching, uh, perhaps, uh, themes that have the SEO fields built right into it so that, you know, you might be on a studio press theme and then you're switching to something else. You want to be able to take all of that data that you've put into, you know, the SEO time and effort into all of your pages and posts, bring those into a new theme or you're switching SEO plugins. Uh, maybe you're moving away from Yoast plugin and moving into something else or moving from Yoast into uh, a Genesis theme directly. You can take that data and transport it. And we're going to dive right in. We're going to take a look at this plugin here. Uh, it's called SEO Data Transporter. And it actually came up. Uh, a colleague of mine was tr uh, migrating from her studio press driven site to actually uh, the baton theme that we create over at the studio. And she needed a way to export all of the SEO stuff that she put inside of her, um, inside of her WordPress theme into uh, the new theme. So this is how she did it. She used this plugin called SEO Data Transporter, and we're gonna dive right in. So I've got this example site here, and this is uh, a Genesis theme. This is the base theme, and we're in the post editor or page editor right now. This is the home page, and you can see here I have some SEO data input, right? So I have the document title, which is Matt's amazing homepage resides here, and then a meta description that I quickly filled out, uh, and then I threw in some meta keywords here just for Example sake. So if you're very used to the very popular WordPress SEO plugin by Yoast, you know, you get a whole lot more in terms of uh, SEO tools and options to fill in with this stuff. So we're going to migrate this data into the Yoast plugin. And this is how we did it. We activated the plugin, SEO data transporter. Uh, and you can get, again, you can get that for free right in the WordPress repo. Let me pull it up one more time. You can just go to wordpress.org slash plugins slash SEO data transporter, or just search for SEO data transporter. It's built by the team at Studio Press, So you know that there is a uh, pretty good team behind it. Uh, it hasn't been updated for two years, but it, perhaps it's still doing uh, what it's supposed to do without any, uh, without any updates needed. I'm sure they'll keep an eye on it uh, if there's a major update uh, to be had. So when we uh, activate the plugin, go to the settings here, you can see that it says convert in post SEO data from and then to. So we're going to say, what is this SEO data from? Well, right now it's from uh, the Genesis theme. And you can see all of the different uh, themes and plugins that they support with this plugin. Um, Builder, Catalyst, Frugal, Genesis, Headway, Hybrid, Thesis, Woo Framework, all of this. And then all the plugins, or at least the majority of the very popular SEO plugins. So we're going to say Genesis because that's what we're on right now. And then we are going to switch to WordPress SEO by Yoast. You can analyze it first just to make sure that everything is going to be, um, you know, compatible or otherwise you can kind of identify which ones or which fields are going to work uh, and which aren't. So right here it says there are three compatible records that were identified. Those are the pages and the posts on this example site. There's only two pages. There's only one post. So that's three. <laughs> so that's the three compatible records. Um, and then the compatible elements. Those are the fields that we looked at earlier. Uh, custom, custom document title, meta description, meta keywords, and so on. It's, it's what it's saying there is we're able to scoop this up out of three records and we'll be able to transport that over to WordPress SEO. So I'm going to hit convert. It's going to go behind the scenes, do its thing. This is a very small site. So that happened instantly. Um, it's just going to say three records were updated. Zero, uh, records were ignored. I'm sure if they were ignored, uh, maybe there was some, uh, malformed data in there, or maybe it timed out if you have a very large site. So definitely be, uh, be wary of that. And we're going to go ahead and activate the Yoast plugin. I already installed it. Take some time for some reason in my local host. It just takes a little while to download and install. So I'm going to skip that part. I've already installed it. I've activated it. I'm going to head back over to that home page. I'm going to hit edit and I'm going to scroll down a little bit. And now you can see there's uh, the page title that I had or the document title that I had. Matt's amazing homepage resides here. And then my meta description uh, right in here. And that's all imported right into Yoast. I don't have to worry about anything. I'm not copying and pasting. I'm not exporting into a spreadsheet, that kind of thing. Um, but in this very basic example, it works like a charm. Um, let's take a look at what happens when we now deactivate the Yoast plugin and then see what happens to our uh, SEO data. So let's go ahead and go to installed plugins. I'm going to go ahead and deactivate Yoast. 
go back to the, pay, uh, the home page. And you can see here that it's gone. Uh, we've lost it. We've converted it from Genesis to begin with. We moved it over to WordPress SEO by Yoast, but now we're maybe moving away from WordPress SEO by Yoast. What do we do? Let's go back and uh, activate Yoast. And then we're going to go back to the SEO data transporter tool. And this is an example that's going to show you how we can go back, right? So we exported from Genesis to WordPress SEO. Now we're going to go from WordPress SEO back to Genesis. So choose the platform, WordPress SEO, choose this platform, Genesis, convert, boom, it does its thing, three records found, back to the plugins, deactivate, let's check on that homepage one more time, edit, and there's our SEO data, it's back in here. You saw before that we went from this to WordPress SEO, then we deactivated WordPress SEO, we saw that our data was gone, we did the conversion one more time the other way, and now our SEO data is back. It's pretty powerful stuff, it's pretty awesome, uh, quite handy if you're doing this kind of migration from one theme to the next or one plugin to the next. I definitely recommend it. Again, I know it's been two years uh, since they've updated it, but it seems to still do its trick. Again, this is a very small site, very small portion of data. I don't know how it scales, maybe on hundreds, if not thousands of posts uh, with all of that data, uh, but I'd love to know if you've had experience with it, go ahead and post in the comments below. It's PluginTut.com, YouTube.com slash PluginTut. If you do enjoy episodes like this, I'd love for you to, in, to subscribe and enjoy all of the wonderful uh, SEO content and WordPress content that we have coming out of this channel. Thanks, everybody.